Okay, I'm back in a van, not my own. I'm actually sat in this gentleman's van, not, not Seb, look, Seb there, but Dad's van, Tony Craig. So Tony, I'm um, talking about man in a van. You spend hours in a van. <laughs> Because uh, if you don't know, Tony lives, no, tell, tell everybody where you live. So you're in Scotland, uh, yeah. but like Scotland, yeah, Scotland. Northeast of Scotland, up by Aberdeen. So what were you about? Just about 490 miles to you. Yeah. So you're talking what, eight and a half, nine hours? Something Guys, like you put some hours in, don't you? I mean, that's like, that's like being an American rider that does state stuff yeah. and has got to, I mean, really. Well, uh, you're like, what, average eight to 10 hours. You know, yeah. by the time you stop for food and kids and just, you know, everything, you're like, you know, eight to ten hours from yeah. home. You know. So, right, tell me this. Like a fine wine, or uh -huh. whiskey, or a whiskey, <laughs> uh, you know, you just seem to have got stronger and stronger with age. Uh, how old are you now, Tony? Uh, 33. Yeah, I'll be 34 that. come next, well, obviously for the start of next year. Yeah. So, and just some blinding speed. So what keeps you at it? Seriously. Family. I, family. Really does. What else am I going to do? Uh, we love it. We love racing. Oh, you know, Sandra I've, obviously loves it, right? The missus Sandra. She wants to go racing. She loves being outside. Seb, love, we come, love coming racing, don't we? We love being away at the track. Tony, he just absolutely loves it. That it's, is it's everything that, for me. Just, that, I've got nothing else to do. I literally don't have anything to do. You know, last year I was ill and we had to spend a lot of time not at the track and we were trying to find things to do, yeah. uh, go to parks and, you know, try to find things to do. And it, <laughs> it's hard, boys, Seb. It's been a long day, isn't it? You know, try to find things to do. What do normal people do? Yeah. You know, I don't drink. I don't, like, I'm not a very social person, so I don't go out and do anything silly like that. We love going racing. We want to be at the track all the time. Yeah. And that's just what we do. You no, spend all week going to work, making I... money, and then we want to go racing. This is where we are. Sandra's been at a track since she was a week old. Yeah. So that is one of the best answers I've ever had. It is family. It's it honestly it is. that's what it's about. Isn't it, it is. It's what keeps me going. You know, it's what I want to give my kids. You yeah. know, everybody. I see a lot of people in America, especially in America, and all these guys that have have had hard times and how hard they, their fathers are, and they're like, oh, we might not make our kids go racing because yeah. of how hard the sport is. I'm like, but this is your life. Why yeah. would you not want to give your kids? You've got an amazing life. Why would you not want to give your kids that? How hard, no matter how hard it is, if you want to be a lawyer or something, how hard is that going to be? It's, yeah. you know, it's probably more difficult than going racing. Oh, big time. You know, you know, having to stick in all your life and be good and all that kind of things. But racing, that's it. I want my, I want them to be part of this. This yeah. is what I want to do. I want one of the boys to race so that when I'm done, you know, I'm still going because he's not ready to race yet. But as soon as he's ready to race, that's me done. I could keep going like, uh, say, like that Brad. He's nearly, yeah. what, he's 38 now. Yeah. I could probably keep doing that, why not? Yeah. You know, but he'll be, you know, so, I'm hoping so in like a year or two, when Seb's ready to race, yeah. that's me done. I will easily you, hang my boot up and go racing. Seb, I know, I know you're a bit shy because we put it in front of a camera, so you don't have to answer. Just you can nod your head or yeah. say yes and no. <laughs> so did you know that, like, did you know that, what Dad was going to just said there, that he might stop racing one day so, he, so when you take over? So you're ready to race, yeah? You're getting good at it? We're getting better, aren't we? Oh, yeah? We good. just, we, unfortunately, we don't get enough time to go out riding, but we were out two days last week. And you were much better, weren't you? So when I'm a really old man, <laughs> and I'm the guy on the mic talk, I might be commentating on you one day. Definitely. Look at that. We're definitely good going name. to be here. Name to remember, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you'll never forget Seb Craig. Seb never Craig. a good name. Good name. That's cool. Right. So, listen, that's a, that's a brilliant answer. So, is there any, with that in mind then, there, there's never been any time really that you've gone... Oh, I know, I listen, it's to find so the money, the diesel, yeah, the fuel. Yeah. Before they were born, there was a lot of times, yeah, you think to yourself, man, you know, I was just saying to Aaron McCarroll earlier on, uh, he was, he's talking about an opportunity he's got, and, you know, I've been saying since I was 25, this yeah. is my last year, I'm done, yeah, you know, yeah. I haven't got enough money to keep racing anymore, and uh, somehow we keep finding more money, and uh, a bit more support, or I'll get a better job, and, you know, things are just, about, it's just gotten better. So, and then as soon as they're born, that just makes it yeah. easier. There's yeah. no way I'm quitting now. There's, Brilliant. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got I, you know, it's actually, just something to give my kids. If you actually break that down, what you just said there, a lot of people would do it the other way. They're yeah. going, oh, kid, kids are born. Yeah, yeah. I've I got to park it up. I no, can't afford to no, get no. a risk. But you're, you're thinking more of a family history and heritage and yeah, what yeah. you're giving these well, kids to my dad have did a, the same. a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, this is our lifestyle. What else do you, I, we love this. Yeah. Yeah. It's been amazing this weekend. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, and been a great, you know, good results and everything's, everybody's happy. Yeah. So why would you not want yeah. to do that? You know, 
we had our hard times when I was kids with my dad, but my dad done literally everything he could to make sure that we could go racing every week. And he was the same when I was ready to race, he stopped. Yeah. And he tried to race, like when I was on an 80 and he bought a bike and thought, oh, I'm going to do a bit of racing. And I seen, <laughs> I seen the... the you enjoying yourself, aren't you? Yeah. See, you've been a little distraction down there. You carry on making funny faces. I seen it's the struggle good. that my dad had chasing me and himself. Because, you know, yeah. at the times I was all right in the, in the use. So he was always chasing me, fixing my bike and trying to not enjoy his racing. So I don't see that for me. Like, you know, I don't want to not focus on them. Yeah. One of the kids, you know, if he wants to race, that's it. Let's focus on them. Yeah. We're going to go. And, you know, uh, me and Sandra know we will 100% we're going to travel. We're going to come to all these races. And we've always said, uh, I've got a house, so we've got a mortgage. So I've kind of got a bit of st stability that if he's ever really good, we're just going to move down south. I, it's something that's, that we should have done when we were kids. Dad, something I should have done. But we're going to we'll be yeah. able to sell up and we'll be able to you know start mm. off somewhere else. It'll be yeah. difficult, but it's, yeah. it's definitely what we'll do. And Sandra knows our father did the same when he was young, so uh, yeah, that's what you know. All that kind of plans. If it doesn't pan out, oh, we're still going to go done, racing. Yeah. I don't that's care. Brilliant. We're going to go racing. We're going to have fun, and that's going to be us. For well, life. all that traveling, hard work, and everything. You love it anyway. But yeah. you were rewarded earlier on in the year by you know get picking up a ride with yeah. a bit of support from Rob, Rob yeah. from Rob Hooper. So how's that planned out? Amazing. I mean, obviously it's made a difference to you, no yeah, doubt. Of course. Well, the big difference, obviously, is the bike. Yeah, the bike's amazing. Uh, the Yamaha uh, and just having all the help. You know, Rob's always doing stuff. You know, he's, mm. he doesn't care like new tires, new sprockets, new everything. Yeah. I'm not used to that. I, no, I no. turn up and what I've got. And that's it. Yeah. You go racing. Yeah. And it's just been made easy. Uh, yeah. uh, this week, even like this week and the next week, Rob's got the bike and he's actually prepping it. I said to him, I, everything he's done for me so far, taking the bike for a week and prepping it for me is easily the best thing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Just gives you that time. Uh, and well, you get like, more it's the end of the season. You know what, like, you've got to go training. See you later. That's uh, Dick Law driving <laughs> out, trying to put us off. <laughs> Dick's on his way on his We've, road. Uh, you know, it's it's difficult to go training, and the what the last thing you want to do is go mm. and do your bike. You know, yeah. during the week you think, oh, but Rob's yeah. doing it. It's, it's so much easier. But yeah. it's really good. You know, Rob isn't a, a huge team. He's a really nice little. You know, it's got a nice family feel, and yeah. just it's perfect for us. You know, we're not big and flash, and we don't need all the big fancy things no, to no. look good. We just. But just that keep extra our family feel and that nice tight, you know, yeah. uh, team feel. That extra level of support makes such a well, difference. Well, yeah, the extra, just little bits. Just I've not had to worry about anything. Mm. That, you know, if there's anything, I've always got things new. I don't have yeah. to worry about, you know, if I've got old tires or uh, turning up with an old chain and sprockets and you know, whatever. It's all yeah. good. Are you all right? Yeah. You're getting tired. You're getting Is Daddy bit... talking too much? Oh well. I... I tell you what, I'll ask him one more question and then I can wrap up and then you can go and get some ice cream. Don't worry, or something. we've got plenty of time, eh? Plenty of time. Maybe Dad will get an ice cream. He's already so had an ice cream. Have you? Rob, we did well. Rob was that happy that we got treated to some ice cream at the end of the race, didn't we? I'll ask Dad one more question because yeah. I'd like to get his feedback from a rider's point of view. Mm. We've just wrapped up round six of the Michelin MX Nationals. From a rider's point of view, what's your take on the series and how it's going and 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 what the guys do? We love it. Sandra and me we absolutely love the MX Nationals. This is what she doesn't, Sandra isn't so keen on the Maxis because it's a bit more serious, I think. Yeah. And because, you know, it's only the one day racing, it's a long way to travel for one day, and obviously it is a bit more serious, and she doesn't find it as enjoyable. Yeah. Whereas when we come here, we rush down as quick as we can on a Friday night to get here as early as we can on a Saturday morning to watch the racing. We want to come and watch the racing. Yeah. So for us, this is, we love it. It's, yeah. It's so busy, you know, there's so many riders, the tracks are all good, the racing's amazing, and we get to really enjoy our weekend away. This yeah. is a proper weekend away, yeah. uh, watching the racing for us. And then obviously when we go racing, for me to go racing, it's even, it's better. It's, Which basically rubber stamps what you said, what, you, what you're doing it for. Yeah, it just, it's obviously that family feel, and just for us, all of us to go out and enjoy. So we yeah. get to spend a, a whole day watching, and then I get to spend a day racing. Yeah. I can't beat it, you know. Uh, we did the, the MX Nationals the first year it started in 2014, mm. and we loved it. And then for a few years, uh, I couldn't really afford to do everything. But the last few years, I've had enough finances, so we've been back, and mm. well, I don't ever want to stop. But as Good. I say, like if we wanted to, you know, if things were to stop, this is where we're, we wouldn't keep going doing the maxes yeah. or whatever. We would come and do this. This would be if, if money was going yeah. to get tight again. We would come and do this because at least then 
we're going to make our money. You know, it's worth mm. the money coming down for a few days, etc. Absolutely, yeah. So oh, we love it. We get well, Paul and all that. So it's all we are obviously in addition to it. You've had another good day, and hopefully, Hi. hopefully, you'll be riding for as long as you can until this little fella. Yeah takes over the family reins uh, a few years yeah hopefully. yeah so we'll let you get on you're not actually traveling back tonight no. you're staying you're staying seven miles away i think in a hotel for a night before you rush back to aberdeen no 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 oh, we're you're staying, not, staying down, down for the week we're going down i just got my van back it's been uh, dead for a few months okay so we finally got it back we've not had our family's weekends away the same as we have so yeah we uh, a couple of nights in Bournemouth and then we're going down to Nuki. Oh, you're coming down my way, yeah. Yes, we're going really. to Nuki. Obviously, it's meant to be this mm. amazing place that yeah. we always hear about. So, a bit of surfing. You gonna yeah, go surfing? We're we'll we'll try something. Cool. We'll plenty of beaches and yeah, in the water and just nice little family holiday, yeah. eh? So we're just having the week off. Right, I'll keep my I'll keep my eye on you then. You're gonna be a future star. <laughs> You'll always hear us. Shake your hand. You can get going now. Now you're starting to yawn. Get some get some sleep time. Tony, it's been a pleasure talking. Yeah. Well done, mate. It's great Thank having you. you out there and battling on. Why not? Uh, that lady and gentleman was Tony. I'm. We're all done. We're out of here. We're going to go. I'm going to yeah. drive home. We're going to chill out. So thank you for watching. Uh, that was Tony Craig. Say that bye. was Seb. Say bye. Say bye. We're out of here, uh, and I'll catch up with you soon. Nice one. See you again.